previously on Let's Play Steins Gate. The whore. Now back to the show that we are totally recording. <laughs> Remember, that was all organic. Oh, and not forced. Also, I, I got a little playful with the effects here. You just got to bear with me. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. You guys ready? Yes. Oh, by the way, we're playing science again. I guess we should mention that. Oh, yes, that's the thing. See, pixelation. You guys ready to find out what's in the capsule? Yes. She leans forward eagerly to see what we got. Oh, man. <gasps> it's a metal Oopa. Oh, it's a metal Oopa. You guys remember, like, Pogs, right? Uh, makes me look. It's basically like that. Like, you got a super rare Pog. Oh, man, yeah. Oh, and there's a little boy looking at us, like, because we got one. Uh, no, he can't have it. Ah, little kid didn't get one. Next kid's gonna be like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. I want that damn metal Oopa. Yeah, <laughs> screw you, kid. We paid for it. <laughs> so, it's like finding a, you know, a holographic Charizard. Oh. Well, it used to be <laughs> a, like a blue eyed white dragon, but not anymore. Oh. We gave it to her. Yeah. Don't is all for it. Gus is all angry. It's adorable. I want one. No, I, I want it. that is adorable thing, but I'm just saying, oh, I don't want it. This isn't the one I wanted. I don't want it. Okay, she said thank you. She said thank you, Ocarine. Uh, we said to call us Kiyoma. And then she giggled and said, thank you, Ocarine. You can't say her name. You know, Poeen Kiyoma. <laughs> but Erica, you really think she's that adorable? I think she is. I love her. All right, Erica's all for supporting uh, Mayushi. If she was a chibi, it would be horrendous. <laughs> all right, and up the stairs we go. Sideways, apparently. Oh, God, can we stop running upstairs? There's no elevator in this bitch. No, you gotta go up the stairs. Uh, oh, I want but to Mayuri didn't follow. Am I busy? You're Is she busy too lady. looking at her opa? Yeah, she likes the opa. That, you know, we paid for. Yeah. I gotta write my name on what? Oh, on the Oopa. Oh, she's gonna write her name on it. We paid for it. She's writing her name on it. Okay. Maybe she's a little slow. <laughs> well, that's actually sad. There's people. Well, there's a few people there. <laughs> a little more full. Yeah. About ten people. Left. I think that's kind of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> All right, hit it. Hit the clap. Clap, guys. Yeah. All right, here comes the doctor. He's going to give a speech. I look more nervous, but all right. Yeah, you know. Oh, I still clap even after the doctor's there. Dr. Nakabachi. There's Dr. Nakabachi. Uh, what do you guys think? Impressed? Look tough? Look cool? Can he stop thinking? I don't know what's going on with his eye. I think he's going to poop. <laughs> well, wait till you hear his theory. A little mild stroke. <laughs> Oh, you guys ready for uh, some Kiyoma Rage? Okay, what's going on? Right. time travel, the greatest scientific breakthrough of the century! Were you guys on the uh, internet in like the early uh, 2000s? Yeah. Oh, here we go, Mayushi. Remember what you guys said? Aww. Did you really need a time machine? She's a bit late in more ways than one. <laughs> she was slow. Yeah, maybe a little bit, but you know, she's a, at least she's cute, right? Yeah, she's, she's adorable. Oh, there's about 20 people here. And no one from the media. Nobody in the news cares. Uh, oh. No. It's... You know why there's no one cares? Because Stoop did... They just found out the Stoop kids are afraid of the Stoop. They're I like, mean, that oh. is big news. And if you're too young to get that reference, stop watching this video right now. Just stop watching it. Then go watch that episode and then come back and watch more. <laughs> Uh-oh. Kuma's getting angry. You guys ready for this? Mm -hmm. Doctor! Have you guys ever heard of John Teeter? 
No. Oh, fly. John Cedar? Yeah. Who the hell are you? Are they contacts? Are they two? This is awesome. With really pretty gray eyes. That's what all people in Japan have to go. Ah, exposing me for a frog. <laughs> John Cedar. Ah. I'm getting and, confused because my mouse is on the uh, on the cane, but it's also over here. So. Okay, we're gonna find John Cena. I see. Okay. I, for one, forgot how the alphabet works, <laughs> and two, couldn't figure out whether it'd be under J, J or T, and I just passed it. And I wish I had seen it back then. <laughs> I'm doing it again. Yeah, <laughs> it's right there. I went to the wrong page. <laughs> and then I realized here, wait a second, I just saw it. I'm getting so uh, was, angry like, at myself. They're like, nah, they look like John Titter. It's probably not the same thing. Yeah, do uh, okay. any number of names like that. John Titter? <laughs> I'm so pissed at myself right now. <laughs> Joe. It's right there. There we go. <laughs> okay, a self proclaimed uh, time traveler from the year 2036 who appeared on American Internet Message Boards in November of 2000. The internet went into a rough war, flooding the board with questions and debate. This is real, by the way. This guy actually showed up in real life. No, I, I see. It yeah. actually broke her with him. And uh, he actually predicted like, uh, the economic collapse. This whole thing is kind of like a real life. Like, conspiracy. Yeah. Like in real life, people still think that he, uh, And now we're getting thrown out just because, uh, he's got to be busy. He's telling the truth. Yeah, we put this guy wrong and now he's throwing us out. He's torn out his manhood as an inventor. God damn. Yeah. Proof proved wrong and now we're getting thrown out. Who's grabbing my- how dare they? Yeah, whoever this is, I'm just gonna turn around and blast my face. Who's grabbing my arm? If who's pitching my butt? That's <laughs> funny they should say that, Goss, because... Me and oh. girl. Oh, hello. Oh. Is that his daughter? Well, if you want to jump ahead in the story... Sorry, I well... saw eyes. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think we're really spoiling that much, you know. Yeah, that is his daughter. Although, notice she goes by a different name. Ah. What's up with her hot pants and trench coat? Uh, you know, she's really in the style. Ah, okay. But we know her because our friend Daru showed us a magazine that she was in. Mm. She's actually world famous. Oh, she's from American University. Yeah, she's from an American University. <laughs> or as uh, Erica likes to say, America. <laughs> And she uh, was, she could have been an open? No, she's not an open. She's not open. <laughs> she's a parent. Oh, or I can picture like the photographer that took the picture to the room table was like, all right, smile. She's like, no. Why do you be such a bitch about it? Well, you could say that she's a uh, grumpy. Eh? Uh, <laughs> uh, Gus? Eh? Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm just gonna leave you hanging. Rough, you, guys. Oh. you guys, she's with the organization. <gasps> oh god, I can't trust her. She's too sexy. What do I do? Uh, well, she's pulling us down the hallway. I mean, Gus, what would you do? Can she just stand in one place? Every time she turns, it changes her bangs. She oh, like you see you all of her. Like, she looks good, you know? Okay. I mean, look at that tie. That tie's awesome. Can she back up a bit? I'd like to see more of her. <laughs> Stop standing so close. Yeah. Gus is calling uh, Mayuri a whore. Erica is sexually harassing uh, Kurisu here. Well, she knew what she was doing with those with those hot pants. <laughs> oh, my she fault. asked for it. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're in the stairwell? Oh, come on. Oh, but we're warning her. If she tries anything, people are going to notice. Do I have to buy her an upa also? She's an adult. She doesn't like that stupid stuff. Yeah, she doesn't have the brain of a ten-year-old. Yeah, she's certainly not into science fiction. As black as though she may be, there's no innocence in her eyes. So we agree. She a is a black agent, matched in, unmatched in cruelty. Yeah, Erica, she's right there. He's right there with you. Oh my 
god, my speech is failing me. Oh, I'm just gonna ask some guys. I think this is when she comes on to us. <laughs> What makes you think I'll answer? I know how the organization operates. Oh, now she's shot. Really? What is this organization? You liar! You know what it is! No, she's kinda calling us a loser. Oh, cause you... Oh, so you... that thing. Where they're all innocent and they touch the chest. Yeah. It's alright though, we're reporting it to our superiors. And what's up with your phone? What carrier do you have? Those are Pokédex. It does, right? <laughs> well, it's modified, especially for us. I'm thinking it's a Nokia. Oh, and she took our phone. <gasps> but still, I didn't even have time to react. That bitch. Huh? Huh, your phone? Oh, ain't nobody told you to pick it up! Well, we were kind of talking to our phone that was turned off. Who were you talking to? Why does everybody keep asking who I'm talking to? Why is it their business? Well, you know. I mean, it's really not, but... That's what I'm saying. I'm like, what if I'm talking to myself? It's just my phone. Oh, but we're not gonna fall for our techniques, right, guys? No. <laughs> Alright, so I'm guessing you are on uh, Team Okabe. I, li I like him, yeah. He's funny. Yeah. Whoever right. um, actually uh, subbed this, they're doing a great job. Yeah. I, I would say the sub, and there's not a dub of the game, but. Um, so you talk to yourself. But, uh, you know, the dub for the show is good, too, although people will kill me for that. No, no. Yeah. Oh, she's psyching us out. Uh, Gus, what do we do? Uh, punch her. Good plan, <laughs> let's go. Can we punch her? I won't punch her. Whoa, why is she so close? Okay. Oh. Uh, he wants to know. Alright. Okay. Her huge eyes blazing with the strength of both, because that's what he's staring at. Uh, also... He probably has a huge erection. Probably. Well, he does spend a lot of time on the computer in a room by himself. You could probably just say that it's, like, it's just the police. Oh, you guys ready for some weird time stuff? Aww. About 15 minutes ago, she saw us and we were, like, basically crying to her. But 15 minutes ago, we were with, were with Mayuri getting the Upa. What's going on here? Is this a trap? Oh no. You guys trust her, right? Fuck that bitch. Where's the other chick? <laughs> her eyes are not even real eyes. Yeah. Like, she's got blind people eyes. <laughs> she has blind people eyes. Well, no, as you guys blind? know, we don't trust the blind on this show. No. I thought for a second you said I said blacky boy. He's like, wait, what the hell is that? Oh no, I heard you say blind. <laughs> that was hysterical. Uh, second episode of the, the show, and it's already over. Fuck oh, these guys. Blacky cool eyes? I ain't listening. Uh, but see, we are mad scientists. There you guys go, we made enemies of her. And she's gonna. <laughs> and we evil laughed, and now we run. So, before we run, we have to have an evil laugh. Well, I mean, yeah, what kind of mad scientist doesn't? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, uh, Kevin doesn't really know how to deal with girls. He only ran down a few flights, shouldn't he? Alright. He's kind of scrawny. What's okay. I mean, I know I can't run downstairs. So. This bit, well, otaku's strength is only but so much. Yeah. Well then, what do I do now? I don't know, you're on the fourth floor of an eighth floor building. Figure it out. Well, you know, he wanted to go to the conference, but it was a fake, so... The rest of his day shot. He could go and listen to some New Geek City. Uh, it would be great to know if he's a fan. I think he would be. Should be. I would love to have him on the show. Ah. <laughs> Left Mayuri. Oh, she's up there with the Opa Opa thing. Yeah, the Opa. But now he's got to go up the stairs and get her. No. She knows how to get outside. 
Mm. No, she doesn't. She has the brain capacity of a 10-year-old. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, uh, Erica. She's kind of... No, no, she's Mark. late in more ways than one. Uh, more easy to take advantage of. Uh, <laughs> and we don't get to make a choice here, but you guys are introduced to a, uh, a system of choices we make. The phone's on! What's yeah. going on? The boogie dads. We're getting a new email. Is it from Professor Oak? Well, I mean, it's not a regular email. There's a video attached. Uh -oh. It's from an unknown address. We should totally open it, you guys. Oh, God, I'm a little... It's got a sneezing panda. <laughs> Whatever it was, it would be so good. That would be me. But don't worry, this makes sense later. Oh, but annoying. Is it a prank? Ah, some kind of Makase Kota to attack. Oh, wait, well, we didn't give her a number. God, is this the ring? <laughs> the phone's gonna... Some girl's gonna call out of the phone and kill us in seven days. Can you not? I need this laptop. <laughs> yeah, that is how... That was that movie, right? Yeah. Okay. What'd you guys think of the ring? <coughs> I never it's, saw it. The, uh, I like the ending, of course, her coming out of the television, and I like <laughs> the girl in the closet with her finish. mouth all fucked up. <laughs> I mean, I heard it was just dehydrating people. Was it? Yeah. Not like, oh man, I'm really thirsty, like, draining all the water out of their body. I found it funny in the second one, when she was like, I'm not your mommy, bitch! And she just <laughs> closed <laughs> the Mostly an American production, but, oh. <laughs> Guys, what if... Oh no. Oh no! Gus, you were right, we should've punched that bitch. God damn it! No, we would have punched her out, she would have been knocked out, we would have put her in the closet, and she would have been kicked out. She didn't know where she was. She couldn't have taken my area if we had just done that. You were right. Instead, she was just running around going, Oh, look at me, I got my gun to Oofa! And they're like, uh, I think that's the bitch she was supposed to get The one that's screaming Meadow Oofa over and over and over. It's oh, funny. Yeah. You guys know what this means, right? You gotta, you gotta go, go save her. Yeah. I don't want to save her. Can we just leave her dead? <laughs> we gotta go up. This is so funny because this is exactly what Matt said you guys would say. <laughs> like, believe that bitch. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to get the choices. Ah, this feels like it feels like a shitty community college class. <laughs> this is basically where he is. This is the extent of his uh, popularity. Oh, we found Mayuri. Probably because like so, you know the following reason why it's not packed anymore because like the guy keeps kicking them out. Yeah. Yeah. You you. Prove that I was lying. Get the fuck out. Is that all? I just asked where the bathroom was. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good day, you guys. We scared off. We saved Mayuri by being tough. Because we were tough guys. Mayuri. Oh, stop crying. Boo hoo. But Is that a person to slap her? But her metal <laughs> Oh, oh my god, she is she seriously crying about that? Well, there's a reason for that. Yeah, like how do they run away? You'll see why it's such a big deal. You guys remember the, the holographic charms I was talking about, right? Yes. Well, it turned out it's worth like a dollar, like a hundred dollars. Well, you know, she can only get a dollar. What? They sell for 10,000 yen online. Oh. And guess who's suddenly interested in finding it? Uh, I am. I know that one. Yeah. 10,000 yen? That's like $50 American. But oh, wait, can you just knock over that machine to see if there's any more in there? Well, you know, like, he might be a mad scientist, but that's illegal. Oh, alright. <laughs> yeah. Time travel is possible, so not, not stealing things. Wow, that 10,000 yen will fund my research! Now we have to go find it. Uh, see, Gus is really going to think she's a bitch, because we're going to help her look for it, and she's still saying, no, you can't sell it. That fucking bitch. Her and her thick eyebrows need to stop. We need that. Uh, you guys might will either come to love or hate that, by the way, the two to do. What is that? It's like a little catchphrase. Every time she greets someone, she says, two to do. Oh. Uh, oh, oh no. By the way, Tutu is Mayuri's catchphrase. It means. Actually, I never bothered to ask what it means. <laughs> Very quirky, I get it. Yeah, she's a little special. 
Uh, of course, you're gonna be played by Zoe Dash now. I wouldn't mind that, actually. <laughs> as long as I got to play Okabe. Okay. I would protect, uh, protect Zoe Dash now. She is a sweetie. Yeah, well, Mayuri or oh, Zoe right. Dash now? Zoe Dash. Yeah, Mayuri's a golden whore. <laughs> Name of the episode. Name of the episode. Mayuri is a golden whore. <laughs> 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 like, Miami Cruise Connection, golden whores? Yeah. It all ties in. <laughs> oh, uh oh. You guys ready to get uh, a little scary? <laughs> Oh no, we're just heard a man scream. <coughs> Was that a scream? Do you know what scream sound like? Oh, and here you can see me messing around with the phone, even though I didn't mean to open it. I assumed that the uh, game opened it up, but I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Turns out that if you left click enough, it opens up. Oh, side note, since you're speaking about Zoe Deschanel, do you know who her sister is? No. Do you know the show Bones? I've heard of it. That's her sister, Emily Deschanel. Mm, I, before I say this, uh, how old is Emily? Emily is 38. Oh, okay, good. Because uh, I had forgotten, because I haven't seen it, but, you know, I was going to say, uh, there's some good genes running that family. Uh, yeah. Here's a fun fact. Her, Emily Deschanel's husband is Ricky Cricket from It's Always Sunny. I did not know that. Another fun fact. They both come from a father. Their father is Caleb Deschanel. See, that's why you listen to this. You get to see uh, this amazing inventor going on in front of us, or you, and you get to learn about celebrity Mayuri. marriage. Yeah, it's celebrity. Okay, he's he's telling my already to stay here. She's not going to stay there, is she? No, she does. Okay. He, well, we, like, like, why okay. are we investigating this? Well, because we have to protect uh, Mayuri. Uh -huh. You might not... He seems weird at first, but you'll come to know that Okabe really is kind of a nice guy. <coughs> so, what did we find? What do you guys think? We heard yes. someone scream. He sees something familiar. Dr. Pepper. <gasps> what? Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh. oh this bitch's head. Hey, I look handsome! <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, you guys... a dead body on the floor. I hope you guys didn't get too attached to her. <laughs> I can just picture him saying, well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> uh, similar to what he says. She's dead. <laughs> have to bury her body, just like cold case files. <laughs> well, you guys remember how brave he was acting before, right? Mm -hmm. Not so much when uh, he sees a dead body. I mean, I don't know if you guys have ever encountered this, like walked in and found someone who was freshly murdered. And it looks a little bloody. It doesn't even look like a clean kill. Oh no. Uh, it happened quickly. <gasps> mm. And that was his manly scream. I was like, maybe he, uh, maybe she passed out on some lasagna. Possibly. <laughs> she just sleeping on it. She got really <laughs> sleepy. She's kind of knocked over red pe uh, pink hair. Just. Uh, yeah, that, that's what happens. You eat a piece of lasagna, you get the itis, and you fall asleep in it. No, she has a thing. Her sleep condition is that she only sleeps with one body on top. <laughs> you know what I love about this? This is supposed to be a big dramatic moment where she's like, lasagna is good. I mean, just listen to the music. We're supposed to be terrified. No, that's the TR. It's, it's like slowly leave every 10 seconds and now we're going to She's not, she's still crying about this thing. She's not crying about the person who's dead, right? No, she's scared. She knows something's wrong. She can see that we're, like, freaked out. Maybe it was the, the Upa who did it. The Upa is the murderer. I think so. We don't it, even have to play it anymore. You, you spoiled it. That was the uh, story. Aw, oh, man, no. The Upa killed by the curse. Maybe if somebody wasn't so greedy and wanted one, this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> He was locked in that capsule for a reason. Yeah. He wasn't trapped in there. We were trapped outside. It was for <laughs> our safety. Gus, look at what we let out. Oopa. Yeah. Dare we? Alright. Uh, now we get a little moment of, like, just hanging out. So, seriously, though, what do you guys think of it so far? Uh, entertained. I'm I'm entertained with the idea that we're just yelling and screaming. Yeah. I mean, we're kind of like Okabe. He's freaking out. We're freaking out. Uh, 
Guys know what this means, right? Glossary. I found it. There we go. All right. Now, to be fair, uh, for, for, it started with a D. So, <coughs> I'm sorry, actually. It started with a C, so I was looking for that. But it was in D, and I found it. And it means street. Why can't they just tell you street? I have no idea. My chest pounds. My breathing labored for running down the stairs. God damn it, stop running! Gotta die. I, if she wants to know, do we tell her that somebody died? I don't think she'd understand. Alright, Gus, would you tell her? What? Would we tell her that somebody died? I guess. I, I think the only thing she's gonna be wondering is, did she have the meta upa on her? <laughs> did she take my upa? If she did, she deserved it. <laughs> He told her. He told her. I would love if she just like turned super cold. And she's like, yeah, she took your Upa. You know what? I, I think she's the model. And I think she's like one of those models that went to the Derry Zoolander school of people oh. who can't really read good, right? Oh, and who? Uh, which one? Mayushi. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she's mostly there to be cute. And and like amazingly stupid. Well, she does figure something out. I won't spoil it. She goes, oh my god, did you know that Dr. Pepper's like Mr. Pan? Yeah, oh, and actually we saw a term pop up there. Uh, Moe. And porn, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is what this part of the city is known for, electronics, Moe, and porn. Oh, uh, I thought it was just Moe, like, they, they like Moe from the Three Stooges? I wish, that would be an amazing thing. And the word's already there, so I don't have to click on anything. Alright, hold on, I gotta, I gotta step out again for another minute, sorry. Alright. We can actually... Pause it. I can elongate this. Okay. No way. All right. So a word used to describe a character trait that is traits. Sorry, that are cute or enduring, endearing. Wow, I can't read tonight. Do you want me to do this? Thank you. Please. <laughs> Includes flaws such as glasses, clumsiness, or ditziness. Also used to refer to the culture of entertainment centered around characters who possess such traits. Pronounced moe. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, everyone watching probably knows what Moe is, but if you didn't, now you do. Now you'll know what those losers in the corner playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh are talking about. What? Oh, I'm sorry, Rynet, because we're in okay. Steins Gate. Yes, Rynet. Yeah. I really gotta get into this one, this is interesting. Yeah. Trust me, you're gonna love, I mean, do you want to watch the show first, or do you want to get through this? I think... When I come here, I'm going to see this, but I'm going to watch the show. So you're going to do both at once? Kind yeah. Of yeah. Overlap. This, this is... He's hysterical. Ah, uh, Okabe? Yeah. Okabe is an awesome character. I've watched the show multiple times just for him. He's fucking hysterical. And he's just as good in the dub. So are all these other characters in the show? Yeah. Even the one that's dead? Yeah. Oh. She actually so plays a pretty prominent role. And, he, uh, what was that? I was gonna say, does he ever get a love interest, or is this, like, harem? He gets a major love interest. Oh. Which, uh, kind of plays into the whole time travel thing. Okay. I will just say that he has to make a major choice. Oh, no. It's one that, of those. Someone has to live, somebody has to die. For the greater good kind of thing? No, no. They're both people that he loves. Oh. He has to pick one to die. Well, somebody gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> somebody gotta go. Uh, well, I mean, it's either you or it's her, you know, it's whatever, you know. But, uh, you know, I will say, if you're not good with sad stuff, to be careful with this show. Uh, this show has a lot of sad in it. I, I like sad. Sad actually um, helps me. It's like... Cathartic is the term, I think. I like, just let it, let it all cry out. It, this is definitely one of those shows. It's good, you know. You get it out, you get to the end, you feel really good by it. You know. And uh, there's even still a movie that I haven't seen yet. Oh, okay. Wait, how how new is this? Like, when did this the come out? The anime came out in 2011. Oh, okay. Yeah. Still. I mean, I was watching... Dura Dura or Dura Dura, whatever they're called. Oh, Dura Dura. And now they came out with a season two, and I didn't even know. You know, it's kind of amazing. They're actually getting a little bit of your podcast right in the middle of this episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
See, we're crossing over. We're, I'm just gonna come out and say it. we're doing the first ever group let's play. Probably not true, but whatever. Screw <laughs> it, I'm claiming it. It is a let's play. Yeah, we're playing. <laughs> I mean, you know, you just read off what Moe means. You guys are watching me struggle to find terms that are right in front of me. It's you the know. best thing ever. <laughs> I'm screaming at myself, it's right there. <laughs> you the passed best. it like six times. You know. That's amazing. To just be able to look at yourself like, what was I thinking? <laughs> Why couldn't I click on it? I scrolled over like six times. And it's not like there's a whole bunch of other words to like confuse you. There's just question marks. Yeah, it's like... There's either something you can click on or everything else you can't. Yeah. Is it this one? Nope. This one? Nope. Oh, the one that actually has the word that I was looking for? Something right. Readable? <laughs> you know, oh, brought up uh, the chat real quick. I'm just seeing what was sent. Oh, I sent the Bob's Burgers porn. <laughs> right. Guys, you should check that out too. All right, let's bring this back up. And, uh, you know, we're waiting on Gus. I have to cut out a little bit of this because I think we're kind of like. Uh, it's not. Our listeners know the deal by now. Yeah, we've run out of steam. Sorry, deal with it. So while you do, while you listen to us, you can watch a let's play and make fun of that one. How about yeah. that? Put that on silent. Listen to us, and we'll make fun of it with you. <laughs> I will make fun of all the other let's players. <laughs> I've been watching um, Game Grumps, uh, Sonic Boom. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I would actually like to throw a uh, Let's Play shout-out to a Let's Player that I actually enjoy. Aww. Not quite on, you know, the fame height uh, as Game Grumps, but Ron Mithro. Hmm. Been watching him play Silent Hill and Silent Hill Origins. Okay. Fun games. Uh, yeah, Silent Hill, those are really good games, I have to admit. I would say those are much creepier than the... Oh, yeah, the newer one? Well... Than the, uh, the Resident Evils. Silent Hill PT is... Oof. That is a creepy game. Yeah. That is a creepy game. I'm back. Sorry. Man. Welcome back, Gus. Gus, we thought you fell into a plate of lasagna. We thought Stein's, uh, Steins Gate got you. That's what Steins Gate is. Steins? I mean, yes, yeah, Steins Gate. I revealed the plot of the game. Uh, it's actually you fall into lasagna. You were right. Oh, I imagine that was the truth. That would be really kind of sad. That would be an amazing ending to the anime. And then they all fell asleep and fell into a plate of lasagna. It turns out that the whole thing was that uh, there was a conspiracy that everyone has these chips implanted in their brains. And the only way to get rid of them is to put your faces into the lasagna. All right. But are you guys ready to find out whatever was just happening? I already forgot. <laughs> what yeah. what was happening? That we went outside the street and we ran into a, a store where they sell things moe, porn, and something else. Oh, that's right. We were walking down the street. All right, here we go. Probably should have. <laughs> there we go. We're done. We've seen moe, and we've seen no porn. Unfortunately, can't pick that option. No tentacle porn. Unfortunately, not. Oh, as soon as I put the phone away, he takes out the phone. Not sure what you plan to do with it. Oh, Doctor? you guys ready to send the first message? Just, you know, every time you send a message, something changes. I always find it funny that their text message they call email. Oh, no, they actually have a separate option. Oh, I thought it was the same thing. No, you can send emails or you can send a text with your phone. Oh. But yeah, it's gonna... like, oh, let me exchange email. I'm like, why do they do that? What, yeah. what slime rash? Foul, fester, like semen left. Right. What is he writing? Well, that's how we humans are. What? <laughs> we're wallowing in a bit of angst. But yeah, we're gonna write to our friend Daru. Trouble. Thanks. Well, that that was clear. Look bad. What? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Someone stabbed Mikase Kisu. Don't know who. Look bad. Hope she's okay. <laughs> yeah. He knows she died, but, you know, he doesn't want to write that. 
I mean, you guys know how it is when you walk onto somebody who's been stabbed to death, right? Yeah. Uh, well, like I said, my first thought is, uh, did she fall in lasagna? <laughs> well, yes. I mean, we we secretly know that that's what Steins Gate really is, but uh, and he's feeling a little guilty. He doesn't know why. I brought a smirk to his face. Yeah, the fact that he's like feeling guilty over this and how stupid it is. Well, well he is a mad scientist. And he's fiendish. Yes. He's still trying to play pretend. <laughs> oh, but we send. You guys ready? We mm-hmm. Press down, right, to send the message. Sending. It said, "I hope she's okay." I'm pretty sure she's fucking dead. He said that already. But you guys ready for it to get weird? Oh no! What's going on? Oh no! What's going on? And <gasps> that's the end of the episode. Oh snap! What could have happened? What do you guys think happened? Oh man, I don't know. Things got all weavy. We saw all the. Uh, I'll just go ahead and tell you what it is: the divergence number, which tells us what world we're in. Mm. So that go all wacky. Mm. So, where are we? What changed? I don't know, but I guess we better find out next time on New Geek City's Let's Play. Yeah, so make sure you turn in then, and remember, L, Psy, Conqueror.